Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel LearnRail. Today's topic is actually going to be about GitLab. It's a technology for doing code management, uh, software revision control, and it's a distributed software uh, application that allows multiple users to contribute their source code. They're basically the text in the files that are used to generate binaries or their shell scripts or their Python scripts or whatever else they got into basically a project folder, a folder uh, associated with like maybe a suite of software. So what we're going to do is create a user W French and a group uh, called first. I'm going to create the group first and then add the user W French to that group. Let's get started. Go ahead and log in with the most powerful user that already exists in the application. Notice the account is called root, and the password was set last week in a different video already made. But this root account is not the same one as it is on the operating system. Okay, go up to the menu setting here and go to the admin with a wrench. It'll take, me, take us to the admin area, as you can see. We're going to click the new group option. And we'll create a group called FIRST, F-I-R-S-T. Notice uh, I probably created a couple of them before. But when I type it in all caps, it comes in lowercase because of the URL. This is the first group. Technically, third attempt. I do a dry run, but I also had some problems with making the video before, so that's why this is technically my third attempt. <laughs> and we want to make sure it's a private group, so we don't want just anybody being able to add themselves to this group. Anything that's a member of this group should be able to create projects as a developer or as a maintainer, and then create subgroups only as maintainers. Click the Create Group button. Okay, F for first. The path is actually lowercase first, but the name is uppercase. You see the description that we typed in. There are no members, but if we wanted to, we could add members, but we have to have members to add. We do not. And as you saw, administrator was an option, but it's already added by default when the application creates a new group in GitLab. It automatically adds the administrator account, which is associated with the root username. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is go back and add a user before we can add that user to the group called first. So you can either click the admin area option here, we can mouse over this and choose users, or we can click on the menu, menu drop down uh, bar and choose admin. But what I'm going to do is simply click admin area. I'm going to click on the new user button. And I'm going to add the account for myself, Warren French, with the username W French and the email address. Now, just so you know, it's a required field, but this doesn't have to be a valid email address. But in the case you're working in a professional environment or a home environment where you have access to GitLab or the internet uh, with an email address that can actually connect with this uh, GitLab server of yours that you're built, then great. Go ahead and add a valid email address in there for your account that you're building for this user, whether it's for yourself or somebody else. But this isn't just a placeholder. You have to put something in here because whatever you put in here is sent a link or attempted to be sent a link for resetting the default first one-time password. There is a way around it, so I will show you how to do that. I want to add myself as an admin, so I'll click on the admin radio option. I don't really care about Twitter, website URLs, I'm not building a profile. Go ahead and click the create user button. Okay, 
We can acknowledge the fact that the user was created. Now let's go back to the admin area. I'm going to click this time on here and then go to the groups page. I want to add myself to this group called first. So I click here or I click edit. I'm going to click on first. Scroll down, and now I can see I can add more users. Well, there's only one user that's been added. It's W French, so click here, and there it is, Warren French, at W French for the username, and I'll click that. I want to add myself as an owner of this group, and what else? So we see administrators already a member, and if I click the add users to group, this segment here should actually update. And now we see that Warren French with the username W French has been added to the group called first. All right, so we've done that. That was actually expected and intended. Click the X here to acknowledge this. Let's actually go back to the user uh, panel and update my password for my W French account. So here we are. Scroll down, click on the Warren French account. Click the edit button. Scroll down. And here's the password. So I'm going to set a password. And what I discovered in the past recently here is that the password has to be at least eight characters. So I'm going to keep it really simple for the sake of this video and set myself with a password. Okay. Again, it's an admin. I'm not changing anything else. Just adding the password there, establishing it. I don't really need to save it. User was successfully updated. Good to know. We have now completed the task of logging as root, creating a group called first, all caps. The URL for it is going to be all lowercase. And then creating another user for Warren French called W French as a username. And then adding that username W French to the existing newly created group called first. This is it. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it.